Hi lovely people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to spotlight actress and singer Haley Kilgore. I first saw Haley on the show Raising Kanan, which is a spinoff to the original show Power on the Network Stars. But for those of you who are Broadway fans, you may have heard or seen Haley in her breakthrough role as T-Moon in the musical Once on This Island. So I wanted to highlight the multi-talented star as she is now blossoming into her musical career. Born on February 16th, 1999, Haley was born in Humble, Texas, and was later raised in Portland, Oregon by her adoptive parents, Rebecca and Eric Kilgore. As a child, Haley said that she loved to sing and would sing everywhere, which her first grade teacher also confirmed that she would take bathroom breaks and sing the entire time. Even though Haley originally wanted to be a doctor, as she grew older, she spent a lot of time in theaters as her father owned a theater company called Bridge City Productions. When Haley was nine, she began to participate in pageants as well as becoming more involved in her children's theater during her seasonal breaks in elementary school. Throughout middle and high school, Haley continued pageantry and theater productions as she was named National American Miss Oregon Preteen, as well as won the National American Miss Spokesmodel Competition 2012, in addition to Portland Teen Idol, and later won Miss Oregon's Outstanding Teen Competition 2015. While she was a freshman at Clackamas High School, Haley was placed on the debate team where she grew to enjoy and later excelled as a member. As time went on, her mother encouraged her to join the theater program and auditioned for her first musical hosted by the school. She auditioned for the role of Tiger Lily of the Peter Pan musical and later earned the role. Her former high school theater director, Carrie Jo Vincent, recommended Haley to audition for the August Wilson Monologue Competition, which was a national event for high school actors. Although the program rarely accepted freshman students at the time, Haley was accepted and was able to participate in the local Portland competition and later the national competition held in New York. Haley's career began to take off as she was getting offers to perform in New York. Haley then had the opportunity to graduate early as she transferred to Clackamas Web Academy where she took online classes, also took classes at a community college, and also worked full-time at the Equity House, which was Portland Center Stage, which is the largest theater company in the city. While at her former school, she landed a supporting role in her school's musical of Once on This Island. Haley spoke on this experience by saying, quote, My junior year of high school, they did a production of Once on This Island. I remember I was looking for the script because if you auditioned for the musicals at my school, you had to read the script. And I remember being like, there's no script, it's all music. So I listened to the music and I went, oh my God, I am this girl, I am T-Moon. Not only is she someone who grew up in a community that raised her and brought her up, she was adopted. I'm adopted. She had been told her whole life that she's meant for something special. And to be quite frank and quite honest, there are not that many characters for young African American women. So I had this moment of like, wow, I need this. I went in for the audition, but then I ended up being cast in a show at Portland Center Stage, which is Portland's largest equity house. Apparently, the universe was waiting for me to do a bigger version of this production, unquote. Portland-based playwright Rodney Hicks heard of Haley's talents and was immediately open to mentoring Haley. He later suggested Haley record a cover of herself singing the song Home from The Wiz and sending it to the director of Once on This Island for the upcoming revival Broadway musical. Haley later earned the starring role as T-Moon. Being T Moon on Broadway would be my whole universe. I identify with her story so, so much. I'm adopted. Um, T Moon was adopted when she was very, very, very young. Great, great. Yeah. Um, would you do one more thing? Yeah. Would you play T Moon on Broadway? <laughs> <laughs> The revival musical, which went on for a year and a half, required Haley to perform eight shows per week and catapulted Haley into widespread recognition in the lead role. Haley mentioned she felt a huge responsibility as she wanted to uphold and maintain the legacy first created by the original T Moon actress, portrayed by Broadway legend Lashans in 1990. For her portrayal, she earned a 2018 Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Leading Role in a Musical but she became one of the youngest nominees in the category. In 2019, she continued her theater run by portraying Rapunzel in the Into the Woods musical. In 2020, she landed the role as Jukebox in the series Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, which is a prequel to the original show Power. Ironically, the role of the adult Jukebox was originally played by actress Anika Nani Rose, in which Haley says she started watching Power because she is a big fan of Anika and has dreams of playing the live action version of Princess Tiana, in which Anika voiced a cartoon version. As a side note, who do you guys think should get the part of Princess Tiana? Between Haley, Ryan Destiny, Normani, Ari Lennox, it seems Coco Jones is starting her campaign strong as we've seen with her latest Halloween costume video. When describing her experience playing the role of Jukebox, Haley said, quote, When Jukebox presented the Power franchise to me, I saw a challenge. It was a different character, and at the time, I had been playing princesses for God knows how long, and little girls that grow up longing for men to save them and then get married and have babies, and that's it. 
I don't want to hinder the idea that women can't have that dream, but I found it so incredible to be portraying a young lady that is so the opposite of every female character I've ever played in my career, starting at nine years old. She's just stripped down, gritty, tough, vulnerable young woman who's surviving in Southside Jamaica, Queens in 1991, unquote. As a side note, please be sure to check out my video about fellow power star Alex Laprie, where I discuss her former career as a music artist prior to acting. In 2021, Haley starred in the Aretha Franklin biopic, Respect, playing alongside Jennifer Hudson as the sister of Aretha, Carolyn Franklin, who had a successful musical career and held roles as a choreographer and musical arranger for Aretha. Towards the end of 2022, Haley began to prepare for her first major musical release, where she released her first two singles, Hold Me and Miss You, off of her 2023 debut EP, Desire and Devotion. The EP was executive produced by musical director and producer Adam Blackstone, whom she met at a theater workshop that he was doing the musical production for. Haley said Adam encouraged her to sing and to sing with her soul, which was something she was unable to really do in theater. And from there, Haley reached out to Adam for guidance creatively as she embarked on her own music career. Haley worked on her EP, Desire and Devotion, for four years and chose the title as it is a story about falling in love with yourself or someone else. The 8-track EP explores a range of themes and sounds that really introduce Haley as an artist. In standout tracks such as Dream, you get to hear the way Haley experiments with her voice in a very fun, upbeat production that has a sound reminiscent of Chloe Halley's Ungolly Hour album. Additionally, songs like Miss You, which was written in 15 minutes, gives nostalgic 90s R&B vibes that sounds authentic to its current era, but sprinkled with the classic R&B that we are getting more of lately. Songs like Hold Me demonstrate probably Haley's main strength, which are ballads. Her vocal control and range is limitless, and the track of accomplishes her goal of paying homage to the people who helped her get to this point in her career. Haley mentioned that she has a part two of the EP titled Heartbreak and Healing coming out soon and that she would also love to collaborate with singer-songwriter Nisha, who I also did a video breakdown of. Please be sure to check that out, link below in the description. In 2023, Haley also starred in her first lead role in a movie for the 2B original film, Cinnamon, released in the summer. Starring alongside Pam Green or Damon Wayans, Haley was able to star as Jody in the black exploitation inspired film as an aspiring singer willing to do anything alongside her boyfriend to make her dreams come true. All in all, I think Haley deserves more recognition, if not as a singer, then as an actress. Her portrayal as Jukebox and Raising Canaan is so good that I imagine Haley's real life personality to be similar to the character. Additionally, I thought her EP was one of the best projects released in 2023, and hopefully part two receive more attention upon its release. Let me know in the comments what you all think of Haley and if you have seen her in any of her projects or listened to her EP as well as her latest song, Ghost. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you next time.